good afternoon uh, today we'll start our first chapter of civics of class 9 and the chapter is what is democracy why democracy now what is democracy democracy is a form of government by the people of the people for the people we india have a very very successful democracy in fact in whole world there are only two countries who have the successful democracy and they are india and sri lanka because the decisions are taken by the representatives uh, of our country and those decisions are for the welfare of the common people like us we are the common people now we will start this chapter with a very simple definition there are many definitions which uh, different scholars have given, with different writers have given. Um, so, we will discuss each definition first. The government is chosen by the people. Democracy exactly means the government chosen by the people. Democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people. This is the definition of democracy where common people used to choose their representative through election is called democracy in uh, only an only in a democratic country the common people have the power to choose their representatives but the army rulers there are uh, there are certain examples uh, from which we can say that these countries are clearly not a democratic country why uh, so uh, let's see these examples the army ruler of Myanmar are not elected by the people the army rulers who used to rule whole Myanmar they are not elected by the common people that means Myanmar is not a democratic country similarly the kings of Nepal and Saudi Arabia they are the kings uh, they cannot be elected by the common people because they happen to be born into a, a royal family. So, this is the reason the kings of Nepal and the kings of Saudi Arabia are also, we cannot say that uh, Nepal and Saudi Arabia is a democratic country because the kings are born into a royal family and they used to rule the whole country. So, there is no question of common people electing them or choosing them as their representatives. So it clearly shows us that the country in which the rulers are not elected by the common people, the armies where the uh, armies are not elected by the common people, that uh, form of government is not a democratic government. But in India, we used to elect our representatives in a general election in a municipality election in every election the power is in the hand of common people it's us it's the common people uh, we know to whom we have to make our representatives we are giving our power to those representatives and those representatives will take decisions for the betterment of our country for the betterment of a common people for the welfare of common people so a democratic country is a country where the representatives, where the rulers are chosen by the common people. Now, it reminds us that a democracy is people's rule. A democracy means people's rule. Common people where uh, the common people rules. But if we use this definition as an unthinking manner, we would end up calling calling almost every government that hold an election a democracy now this is one of the important point as we have discussed that um, in a democracy common people are elect, common people elects representatives that means through election there is no other way to elect representatives uh, by election right so we cannot say every country those who holds election is a democratic country that would be very 
misleading. As we shall find out in chapter 4 of every government in contemporary world wants to be called a democratic government. But it is not possible to call every uh, country which holds election a democratic country. There are many types of election. In a democratic country, the real election is to choose a representative who will take decision on behalf of the common people. For us, common people means for us, like uh, we. So, democracy in uh, the country which hold elections, every country which hold election cannot be called a democratic country. But India is a democratic country because we represent uh, we choose our representative to election and we give them power to decide on behalf of us so this is called democracy now in a democracy there are many features which we uh, will find out a democracy is a form of government in which the rulers are elected by the people this is the definition of democracy which we have discussed right so now a government in which rulers are elected by the people now who are the rulers what kind of election constitute a democratic election because we said that every country which hold election is not a democratic election so to be a democratic country what kind of election constitute so this is one of the most important question Another one, who are the people who can elect the rulers and get elected as a rulers? In every democratic country, every common people have the power to, uh, to rule and to become a ruler. We have the power to be elected as a ruler or to get elected as a rulers. So who are the people who elect the rulers or can be elected as a rulers? And another question is, what kind of a form of government is a democracy? Because we said democracy is a form of government. So what kind of form of a government? So these are the questions which we will discuss in our next class. Today, this is just the introduction class. What is democracy? Democracy is a form of government where the rulers are elected by the common people. Democracy is a form of government by the people, for the people, of the people. And in a democratic country, the rulers are elected. Right? They cannot be born in a royal family or they cannot be a member of the military uh, party militaries because we have discussed uh, we have given some examples of like Myanmar and Nepal Nepal is a monarchy country Myanmar military control is there they are not elected by the common people so we cannot say Myanmar Nepal Saudi Arabia these are the democratic country but there are many other countries who holds elections though they are not a democratic country why so we will discuss all these things in our next class. Thank you.